impossibility instead of the possibilities with God. We need to get before God and begin to understand that He is the developer. He is the creator. He is the one that gives ideas that will put you over, that will help mankind. We need to understand if it takes effort to break a cycle. And maybe some of you have been in the worst cycle in your life. Maybe it's been spiraling, going around for the last few years. You don't see. Maybe you've made decisions that's got you in trouble. Maybe there's some things you're facing. It looks like if you do one thing, it, it won't work because it's too much for you. You'll never pull out. That is a lie of the devil. Do the right thing. Do the thing God says. He will help you through any circumstance and maybe you do bottom out, but you'll bounce like a rubber ball right back up and you'll come alive and God will put you over if you'll walk by faith in the things of God. Satan is here to steal your initiative. Satan has been sent to rob you of your faith. Satan has been sent to make you look at everything other than God and his word. Your circumstances. Well, I talked to a guy in Phoenix this week. He is a commercial developer. He's got land sitting all over Scottsdale down in there. I was visiting with him. He even went to some other state for a while, come back. And out of his mouth, and I don't even know if he's a believer, but he's been had some good training. Out of his mouth, he said, you know, this is the greatest time mankind could live if they had opened their eyes. Opportunity after opportunity lies before us that we can excel and do better than we've ever done in history. It's all according to the viewpoint you have. Now, maybe he was basing it on something else. I'm basing it on the word of the living God. You've been called to excel and bring great glory to God. Don't get bound up in a dead-end something. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? I, I, he's come to kill your desire. He's come to kill your passion. He's come to rob you and kill your faith. He's come to make you look at your past and govern your future by it because maybe you had so many failures or maybe you raised to a pinnacle in your life and you had so much success and then they kicked you out and you come down and all of a sudden you can't grasp that you can come back because of Almighty God. And see, a, a great success can be as big uh, of a cruncher, a killer of vision, then no success. You understand me, Junior? Do you all understand what I'm saying? And the enemy will grab us because he is a stealer. I used to talk about how he'll steal your goods, how he'll steal maybe your land, how he'll steal this. That has no bearing on what I'm talking about today. If he steals your zeal, your faith, your vision, he's got everything else going his way. And how does this begin to open up? You begin to get in the Word of God. You get, begin to make these declarations. When it looks like you're still in the pit, like we said Wednesday night, Joseph was in the pit fixing to take the best journey of his life. And the enemy provided him the transportation. <laughs> he had a destiny. God's destiny for him was to save Israel. You've got a destiny. You've got a place. You've been called the children of the living God. What are you doing with it? What I'm saying is this. God said that all things are possible to the man or woman who can believe, Mark 9, 23. The problem is believing beyond your human circumstance. We sit back. We get too comfortable. We think everything's going to be okay. Think, oh, we got to see. While we was in Costa Rica, they had a a piece of the Berlin Wall down there at one of their museum. It stood up as tall as the Berlin Wall and it's about this wide. I thought, my goodness, history in the making. 
the Berlin Wall. Costa Rica got some of it. Concrete and steel separated societies for years. And it took one man with belief to bring it down. One man with belief that believed society was greater than that. One man with belief brought it down. One man or woman with belief in this generation, in this season, can change the course of our nation. You see. You say, how do you mean that? You've got to get with God. You've got to take time out with Him. You got to sit down with the master. You got to sit down with the blesser if you want the blessing. You got to sit down and gain revelation from the word of the living God. So first of all, he steals your passion and your desire and he tries then to kill the inner workings of your life by killing faith off completely. He wants you to look back at your past. Oh, if I hadn't have done that, if I hadn't have done this, I wouldn't have lost all that. If I had, and then you know what that does? That kills your motivation to get up. And the next thing you do, you just sit down there and you click on every kind of show there is on TV and all of a sudden it's 6.30 and you're sleepy and you go to bed. Why? Because you've allowed the devil to do something that he's not been equipped to do. If he come to steal, to kill, and destroy, what did Jesus come to do? He come to give a life full of abundance. And the church has fought abundance. I know for the last 60 years. God wants the abundance on his church so that he will receive the glory for the covenant he cut through Jesus Christ so it manifests in your life. He wants every one of the church walking well and healed and delivered that he might receive the glory because we've got a covenant that is true sealed in the blood of the Lamb. But if we don't get our mindsets changed, as a Proverbs 23, again, it keeps coming back to me. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It sets the course of your life unless you change your thought pattern. If it's locked into defeat and depression and wallowing around in the things you don't have and instead of the things you do have, then your life is misery and over. Until you come to the New Living Church. <laughs> and, and then you keep coming and we keep putting it in you and we keep telling you and we keep letting the Word come alive. And you begin to understand, wait a minute, why would God create us if He didn't want us to succeed in life? He wants us to succeed through His power, His presence, His thought life, His Word his Spirit will anoint you to be who you're called to be. Stop letting Him rob you and let God's abundance flow through you in the name of the Lord. And you do that somewhat through declarations. Every one of you that, that's... How did that show start? Were they all saying, Whoa, you know... You know, the country western song. Yeah. Uh, hee haw. Did any of y'all ever watch Hee Haw? What did they sing all the time? That guy come out. An agony on me. And the church has been doing the same thing. Now, listen to me. Please listen because a change is here. Season of change is here. You've learned from some mistakes. You've learned from some things. You've learned from the Word. But this is a now season. If it's a now season, it's a season of faith. You rise up and grasp the hope 
that God's put before you and in your heart, you begin to make declarations that...